It's Thursday night, which means nothing really. It's just another night, but another night, another shoe. Yes, that's right. It's the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Blue Tint. This video is going to be about three things. Number one, we're going to have a very short reaction and review of the blue tints. Number two, I'm going to do a compare and contrast between the Yeezy Beluga 2.0 and the Yeezy Blue Tint. And number three, I'm going to show you how I lace up my Yeezys. Henry on the bus has commented wondering how I lace my Ultra Boost. And while this isn't the Ultra Boost, it gave me a good idea to say, why don't I show you how I lace my Yeezys? I will still do an Ultra Boost lacing video, but hopefully this uh, will do for now. So let's get into it. First things first, the box. I'm not the first person to say this. I certainly won't be the last person to say this, but damn, this shoe looks so much better in person. As many have said before me, the pictures truly do not do this shoe justice. It's called blue tint. It is far more blue tinted than the pictures lead on. Like you see the blue in everything. There's no question in my mind that this shoe is tinted blue. One could almost say they threw a Yeezy Zebra in the washer and then someone accidentally left like a royal blue ball cap, Simpson style, and it just slightly stained the shoe. Ah, oh, this, is, this is very nice, very nice. Ooh. You know how I do it. <sighs> What's interesting about both of these shoes, and I know, spoiler alert, I'm jumping ahead, the boost feels different on the 2.0 Belugas, and this, dare I say that it feels a little slimier than like the breads or the uh, creams, but I don't know, do you agree? But it's just so nice, it's so good. Yes, once again, I had to go through StockX, not ashamed, I ain't too proud to beg, but resale on this mm -mm, hasn't been that great. Well, let me rephrase that. Resale has been great for buyers. I'll take it. This is a great shoe. Great shoe. Oh, man. I love it. I love it. Whoo, baby. Anywho, there it is. Blue tint. You've probably seen tons of videos online already. I haven't told you anything different. I haven't shown you anything different. But let's compare this with the Beluga 2.0. When you put these shoes together side by side, the 2.0s seem kind of boring. And honestly, the 2.0s were boring on their own. They're a nice shoe, I really like it, but when you put them next to each other, there's no contest which one seems to be more luxurious, which one seems more fun, which one's gonna stop traffic and one's gonna be like, oh, that's nice. The Beluga, nice personality, yeah, cute. The blue tint, that's the one you take to the fancy restaurant. I really like the light gray on the blue tints. This is, it's almost unfair because the more I look at this Beluga 2.0 next to the blue tint, the more I'm underwhelmed. That's nice. It doesn't really have anything that pops, I don't think. But when we look at the blue tints, first of all, the whole shoe just like <laughs> That was the sound of ice breaking off of a glacier and crashing and then turning into steam. Probably can't see it as well, but you look at the stripe underneath where it says Spli 350 and it's got those ever so slight vertical stripes that some people just don't dig. It's all good. It's all good. I do. Wow. It's a subtle touch. And to me, when you have little subtle touches, that just adds quality. It adds nuance. It adds sophistication. It adds depth. One of these shoes, the Beluga 2.0, doesn't have much depth. The blue tint has depth, sophistication. The Beluga 2.0, it's a one night stand. The blue tint, that's the one you take out over and over and over again. Would it be a blue tint call? Right? No, no, blue tinder, we'll go with that one. As earlier discussed, I do lace my Yeezys a little different. People say there's like three ways to lace your shoes. Number one, there's the like, oh, let me tie my shoes and you tie them in a nod, bunny, bunny, foo, foo, all that stuff. Great, wonderful, like that. I did that once. And then people say, well, I'm gonna do it like Kanye does it and they spaghetti it all. That's great. I don't really like it much. I like a cleaner look. And then there's a third version where inside the shoe, there's all types of spaghetti and it's like, like in there, but on the outside, it looks clean and pristine and minimalist. Kind of like a duck underneath the water, kicking its feet, but smooth up top. So those are like the three things, but I honestly didn't like any of those. And so this is neither of those ways and we'll see if you can see it. So what happens is, 
I go through this lace, tie it in a knot inside, and then underneath I go through under here, under here, under here, and then I pull back around, and then I pull it through the last hole. And that's how I do all my Yeezys. Haven't done that to the blue tints yet. Let's put it on film and see what that looks like. That's right, I said film. I was born in 78, cut me a break. Okay, so obviously the first step is to unlace the shoes. So basically, right now you just lace the shoe normally. Now I like to leave it a little bit loose, just because obviously when you tighten it, it's gonna get tight. I like to keep my foot in there. I guess by foot, I mean hand. For the purposes of this video, it'll be a hand just to make sure that it doesn't get too tight and bunchy. Now, obviously, this would mean that the Yeezy is going to fit you somewhat snug, and that's what you want, at least when you do it this way, because if this shoe were to fit really loose on me, I would not be able to do it this way. I'd probably have to tie it like a normal person would. And since both these and the Veluga 2.0s actually are a little bit tighter, we're okay. So, so far, so good, right? It looks like a normal Yeezy. This is where the fun gets involved. So you have your laces, and like I said, you're going to tie a knot. Not a tight knot, but just a knot. And then you just kind of push it so that it closes in there. And then you do the same with the other side. So there you go, so you have two knots. Now what's gonna happen is I'm going to take this lace, I'm going to take it and I'm gonna put it under each of these loops. And you can see, hopefully, there's the loop underneath. There are three of them. There's this one, there's that one, and there's that one. I will go underneath all three of them and whip around. So, first one, here we go. And then once we get past the first one, it's really hard to see. So let's speed this up. An important part to remember is to not pull too tight. I'm just gently pulling it from the very top because I've gone through all three laces and you can probably see that it's pulling it. You don't want to pull too tight because then you actually pull this in. And what we're left with is this. See how we got that? And then we just pull it through, and there we go. Then you have it hanging out. Now, if you want a little bit more, you can probably tighten up and then just pull it in a little bit more. Without having this on my foot, I have no idea how I really want it. I'm gonna push this closer. Remember, we go through the first loop. And because we laced them loose, there's not a problem with us fitting our aglet underneath the loop. Had we done them really tight, it would've been a hard time. Remember that too tight. We're all left with that. Looks like there's some wiggle room left. And you may decide you want less lace to come out. If that's the case, then just have less come out. Some of you want more lace, that's fine too. You pull it out and there we go. Now that's gonna bother me because one is longer than the other. So, and there we have it. My height beast way of lace lacing these shoes. You may dig it, you may not dig it. I don't know. I do. I think it's cool. I don't have to tie it. It becomes a de facto slip-on. And nobody sees all the business inside. It doesn't have the spaghetti all on the side. And unless, if you're like me, you don't have the spaghetti all at top. Let's see what it looks like if I had my foot in it, except I'm not going to use my foot. There we go. My Angelus shoe tree fills it out. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, there's the fourth way to tie your shoe. I guess I was wrong from the beginning. Factory lacing. I don't particularly like it. What do you like better? I like this better. There you go. I'll do the other one again, speed it up. And there's shoe number two. Shout out to my man Henry on the bus for the idea. I promise an Ultra Boost lacing video is coming soon, but I thought with the delivery of these Yeezy V2 blue tints, be a good opportunity to show y'all how I lace mine. I dig it. What do you guys think? I think it's clean. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope you liked what you saw. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the blue tint Yeezy. Maybe how it relates in the grand scheme of V2s. Do you agree with me? Let me know what you think about the way I lace my shoes. Hype beast? Not hype beast? Too hype beast? Not hype beast enough? 
Maybe I just don't understand the word hype beast. If you'd like to see more videos like this, why don't you leave a thumbs up? Maybe even subscribe, because that's what we're supposed to tell you to do, right? Subscribe Toya. Let's do that, huh? Thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned and just chill to the next episode.